Stephen, just give us your reaction to the uh, the sad news about Nelson Mandela. Um, yeah, it's very sad. Uh, we've lost a great a great father, and I've met him a few times. And the words that came out of his mouth was always inspirational. And he loved this sport. He loved this, his nation. The the kids was just the stuff that they've done for the whole country. If it wasn't for him, I don't think I'll be sitting here today, and I'm really grateful for that, and I want to wish his family all the best in the coming days, and we know as a nation that his legacy will live forever, and he'll always be in our hearts. It's absolutely incredible, isn't it, that one man can inspire so many people? Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, what he's done, like I said, um, it was just unbelievable. His, his, his heart was so big to forgive what happened in the past and to move on. That's one thing I, I think the whole nation will, or the whole world will remember him for, to always shake your enemy's hand and work with him and that's what he's, he's done and I think um, he's the closest man I'll say to Jesus mm. that, um, that have done something so huge for not only for South Africa, but I think for a lot of countries and for a lot of people. It's clearly a very emotional time for you and all South Africans. But Nelson Mandela, as you say, loved his sport and he loved the rugby teams doing well, the cricket teams and of course the footballers as well. Yeah, definitely. He was a, a man of sport and he believed that sport will, can bring people together. And we've seen it in the past, 96. It was an incredible moment for the whole country when he went up. Wearing the, the Springbok shirt, it was just something you'll never see again. It's very important that the people of South Africa live up to his legacy now, isn't it? Yeah, I think now the people are just, you know, everyone is sad, but uh, also happy that he lived such a good life uh, after he came out of prison. And I think for every one that have made this this journey with him will know that what a, what a man he was. He would illuminate a room, wouldn't he? Would you remember Nelson Mandela as a smiling man? I remember the first time I met him, uh, I was 15 years old. We, really? played, we played a tournament in Italy with a, the with a school and we did quite well and we went back and we were all in class and the principal came over to us and he said, um, you guys ever have to go to the to Pretoria to go and meet the president and everyone was shocked. <laughs> when we got there, we walked in the room and the first thing he said to us, gentlemen, <laughs> I still remember his voice just coming out and he said to us, you guys have the opportunity in your hands and you can do something with your lives. And that's one thing he said, sport is the most important thing that can bring smiles to people's faces even in bad times and in good times. But just remember, you've got something special and you have to keep on working hard. And yeah, it's just uh, his humor was sometimes people wouldn't understand, but <laughs> it was just so funny. And, but with uh, inspiration in it as well. You yourself, Stephen, as, a, as an international footballer and somebody who's made a really successful life for himself, you're an inspiration to many, many hundreds of thousands of South African kids. But when you met Nelson Mandela, the boot was on the other foot. It was you that was in awe of him, wasn't it? Yeah, like I said, um, you know, when I met him, it's just something that I'll never forget. And I think most people that have shook his hand will understand what it meant. And I was just honored and grateful to be in the same room with such a huge personality and person. And it was just, you know, I've always, uh, said to myself, those words will stick in my head and I'll do everything that I can to reach my goals and he made it possible for us, all South Africans. And yeah, I'm grateful to him. Oh, see.